All aboard! That was the theme for the American Transportation Revolution after the Civil War, with railroad companies building nearly 40,000 miles of track between 1865 and 1880, more than doubling the pre-war amount. Growth became the watchword as the Iron Horse forged its way across the vast prairies of the Great Plains to connect the nation. The transcontinental railroads forever erased the vast gulf between the east and west coast, cementing the nation together. Business opportunities, such as in the cattle industry, farming, gold mining, pushed Americans westward, and the railroad was central to that movement. The pattern of railroad growth was accentuated with technology. George Westinghouse introduced the air brake allowing bigger and faster trains to stop more easily. The reduced cost of steel was a result of technological advances, making production easier. Western Union workers enjoyed the privilege of riding railroads for free, while those railroads used the company's telegraph systems free of charge, promoting communication between Eastern civilization and the Western frontier. By the beginning of the 20th century, the railroad had brought the nation together in ways that no previous generation could have imagined. The train depot became a central feature in every town along the tracks. It was the place where mail entered town, where telegrams originated and ended, and where people would go to see what, or who, the train had brought to town. <laughs> 